Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials. So in this video we are to see how we can add uh, extra attributes to that the error attributes uh, that we have available in the request in case uh, some exception happens. So we can create a new class. We can call this class for our sake of simplicity custom attributes. And these custom attributes they will extend the default error attributes from Spring Framework uh, put by reactive error. And when we do this, we have to make sure that this guy is a Spring Bean. So just add component here. You can see the small icon. And now we can override uh, one method. In this case, the method we are looking for is the get error attributes. This one that's not deprecated. And Inside this method, we can do any business logic that we we want. So, for example, I'm going to call the super dot uh, this one. I still want to use this this method. So, I will introduce a local variable. This is the the full attributes map that we we have, and then uh, I will get the trouble that we have through this get error sending this uh, request and now I can do like a quick uh, business logic here so imagine that if our error is an instance our error is in this case is the if trouble is an instance of response status exception this is the exception that we are throwing uh, in our service we would like to get this. Let's do a quick cast here. Response status exception. Uh, the throwable. So we are adding this to a response status exception variable. And now we can, uh, for example, add here to error attributes map. If you go back, you will see that, for example, the message here it's empty. So we could add here. Uh, message and we can get here get message and you can add your own custom attribute for example developer message a response status exception happened one of the worst message error and then we can uh, return here the error attributes map and for example if uh, we don't want to do any other business logic we just get the default one and we return it so actually yeah we need this guy here now let's uh, restart our application. We don't have to do anything else. Just restart the application. And then you go over here and you just refresh. And you can see here, let's remove the trace for better visualization. And then we have here the developer mess. And you can see that we have a, a custom message that we are adding from here. So with this, you can edit any error or attribute that you want, and you can do any business logic that you are uh, you needed for your application. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.